Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I uh, love you guys. Thanks for coming on over today and seeing what I'm working on, which is my mini glue book for December of 2021 and I'm calling it Words or Ransom Notes. I haven't decided yet. Um, I had to go through and do some napkin slash tissue paper covering of the uh, pages because it, there was no backgrounds on these. So I just went through my bin. I have a huge bin of napkins and and um, tissue paper that I've collected over the years. And some of these you might actually recognize because a lot of them are from the Dollar Tree. Uh, Dollar Tree, Tuesday morning, um, shoe boxes, some, some were gifted to me. So yeah, and some is just some of my pages are going to be just a plain background, which is fine. So I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. Um, so that's what I did. Um, at, right after the last video, I was, um, I started to do some of these pages, but then I, it took me about, took me about an hour to get these pages finished up. So, and that was fun. And I kept the little scraps of leftover pieces that so I can use them as accent pieces on other pages. And the reason I'm doing words is because I had this big old book, my big glue book, and I was working on words to put on the pages to finish this book up. So and there's an example there, just beautiful changes on that little, you know, just a few words here and there. And I was working on that book and I thought, let's just bring them all out. And I've got so many. Let's just put some in a book. And here's where I've got all my stuff at. You know, I've got some phrases, I've got some dimensionals and all kinds of stuff that I've had in my words drawer. And some of these I probably won't use, but I have, I brought everything out just to see what I had. Okay. So yeah, I probably have more than I need. And that was something I made a long time ago. This is my eyeglass case, which you've seen before. And just, these are some of the words from that. And then this Tim Holtz thing I got and then this this bin so um, I probably won't show these things again because it's like okay I've got so many so anyway what I was gonna do today is go through my words and as you can see I've got a little collection here already to make up a page so I thought well I, one thing I can do to make this go a little faster or and to organize my thoughts is to get my words out in front of me and put them together and just clip them and then glue them in later. So what I did is just, I kind of shoved things aside and I'm zooming in for you here a little bit because some of the words are pretty small. I, I set them in front of me and I tried to make some phrases, some words that went together and then I paper clipped them together just to, um, as part of the process, I should say, as part of my process, because just going through page by page, finding words page by page, actually, I think would take a little bit of time. And the good thing about this method, what, how I'm doing this today is I don't have any pictures to have to really deal with these things. So to match a phrase or words to go with any glue book pictures, but I could add some if I wanted. So there's a little bit of a, a a trick with that, a little bit of a thought I had while I was going through these. And the, that let's get real, you know, that one, I actually put it on a page in my big glue book. And I'll show that to you guys later. But uh, it was kind of fun going through my going through all my all my words. And now I haven't clipped everything together. I haven't uh, cut everything perfectly at this point. So um there's a little bit of that in here too. Uh, but I just really tried to put things together and see how they turn out.
So there's a few little word clusters. That's a fun thing to say, word clusters, uh, that I've got together. So let's go ahead and put some in the book and just to see how it looks. I have um, this one that I kind of showed already. Uh, more ideas for handcrafted inspiration. Copy. I need the word and or an ampersand. And I know I've got one around here somewhere. Um, and this is what I made that for. Um, I used a long time ago. I, I did some gluing of words onto bigger pieces of paper and stronger pieces of paper just so I could find them easier. So that works for me today. And I did the same thing with uh, transition words for this. And, and I'll show you that another time. But um, yeah, there's the word and. So I'm just going to trim this up a smidge and put this on the page and then do another one on the blue and white page and do a little bit of um, doodling with my acrylico paint markers and uh, yeah we'll see how it all looks <music> Quick fix when you uh, go over on your lines, just make those stitch marks and it looks, looks like you meant it to do that. Then the white one was a little gloppy, but that's okay. And these spaces right here, I can add a picture if I want, which is fine. So I'm gonna, you know, get my words all out and do more word clusters, uh, just to think ahead of what I'm going to do in this book. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I like it. I hope you get an idea from this. Love you guys. Thanks for coming on over today. Um, take care. And as always, God bless. Bye-bye.